Today we're going to be answering an FRQ from 2015 AP Calculus AB test question number six and in this question or FRQ we are given the equation of the curve which is y cubed minus x y equals two. And also the derivative of this function is also given which is So to answer the first question, we are supposed to write the equation of the tangent line to the point negative 1, 1. So we know that to write the equation of the tangent line, we can use the point slope form of the equation of a line, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where x and y are given, x is equal to negative 1, and y is equal to 1. And we just need to look for the slope to complete our equation of the tangent line. Now we are given the dy dx, and we know that the slope of the function is given by the derivative, or the slope is also the derivative of the function, so dy dx is represented by the slope. So if we're going to find the slope, just use the given derivative function and plug in the value of the point to your slope. y is equal to 1 minus negative 1. So the slope of the given function is 1 over 3 plus 1 which is equal to 1 fourth. So now that we have the x, the y, and our slope, we can now write the equation of the tangent line as y minus 1 equal to the slope which is 1 over 4 times x minus negative 1 so x plus 1 and this is the equation of the tangent line to the point negative 1 1 now to answer letter B we need to find the coordinates of all the points on the curve so for letter B we're looking for the points and the curve and this point lies the tangent line that is vertical so we have a vertical tangent line on this point now we know that a vertical line exists when the slope is undefined and the slope is undefined when the denominator is equal to zero. So we know that the given slope dy dx is equal to y all over 3y squared minus x. So we're just going to find the values of our denominator when it's going to be equal to zero. So we have 3y squared minus x equal to zero. So we'll have 3y squared is equal to x. So since we have isolated the value of x, let's go ahead and plug it into our curve function, which is y cubed minus xy equals 2. And replace all the x's with 3y squared, and we'll have... which is... Therefore, y cubed minus 3y cubed is equal to negative 2y cubed equals 2. Divide both by negative 2. And y cubed is equal to negative 1. So y, take the third root of both sides so we can have y by itself, which is equal to negative 1. So this is the first half of the coordinate of our point where um, a vertical tangent line um, exist in the curve so we need to find the value of x so going back to the original function y cubed minus xy equals 2 replace y by negative 1 negative 1 cubed is equal to negative 1 plus x equals 2 and x is equal to 2 plus 1, therefore x is equal to 3. 
So we can say that the vertical um, tangent line that the vertical tangent line to the curve exists at point 0.3 and negative 1. And this is for problem letter B. Now for problem letter C, we need to evaluate the second derivative of the function to the point negative 1 and 1. And in this case, we know that dy dx is given by y all over 3y squared minus x. And when we evaluated dy dx from negative 1, 1 from the previous um, FYQ, we know that it's equal to 1 over 4. And we're going to use that later on when we are solving for the value of the second derivative of the function. So the second derivative of the slope or the curve will be uh, found using the quotient rule low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So to find the second derivative, let's use the quotient rule. So low is 3y squared minus x times the derivative of high, which is y, minus high, which is y, times the derivative of low, which is 3y squared minus x, all over 3y squared minus x squared. So let's go ahead and simplify the numerator by taking the derivative of the terms. So on the numerator, we copy the first term and then take the derivative of y. And we know the derivative of y is dy dx. Minus copy the first term times the derivative of 3y squared minus x. So we can separate this two right here and take the derivative of 3y squared and the derivative of x. So the derivative of the first term is going to be 6y dy dx minus the derivative of x in terms of, of x would be 1 all over, let's just copy 3y squared minus x squared. So now that we have the derivative function of uh, the first derivative, we can now evaluate it from negative 1 and 1. So we can find the point or the value of the second derivative. So all we need to do is at this point, we are replacing all the values of x by negative 1 and the values of y by positive 1. And we know that our dy dx is the value of our first derivative evaluated at negative 1, 1. So we will replace this with 1 fourth minus 1 times 6 times 1 times the dy dx, which is 1 fourth minus 1 all over 3 times 1 squared minus negative 1 squared. So uh, let's go ahead and simplify our function. So the numerator, we can simplify this into 3 plus 1. So we will have 4 multiplied by 1 fourth. Remember, Remember that this, this is question number 6 on the FRQ, so we're, so we're not allowed to use the calculator when we are solving this um, problem. So we can, so we can simplify, simplify this, this. 1 times 6 times, six times, times 1 is to 6, six. Times, times 1 times 1 is equal to 6 over 4. 
minus, minus one, one, and since we are subtracting fraction, fraction, let's, let's uh, uh, change, change one, one into four into over four, so it's a lot easier to evaluate. All over, three times one, we know is three plus one, so we have four squared. So now that our fraction is uh, a little bit more manageable to solve, we know that 4 times 1 fourth is equal to 1. So we can put 1 right here. Minus 6 over 4 minus 4 over 4 is equal to 2 over 4. All over 4 times 4, which is 16. Let's simplify our um, numerator by changing 1 into 4 over 4 minus 2 over 4, which will give us 2 over 4, or 1 half. And then the denominator right here, let's just divide it by 16. And we know that 1 half divided by 16 is 1 over 16. So the value of the second derivative at point negative 1, 1 is 1 all over 2 times 16, which is equal to 32. And that is how we solve problem letter C on this FRQ.